This is Gideon. He fell in love with Marley. I would describe our relationship to be explosive and magnetic. But this isn't just an ordinary couple. The pair are exploring a certain lifestyle that is not for the faint-hearted. We're hoping to become swingers. We haven't done a full swap yet, but... It's a possibility that we could be doing a full swap tonight. Being open about their lifestyle choice has resulted in a lot of judgment. It's like weird. I know you can like more than one person for love. How will the couple manage as they embark on their first evening of potential couple swapping? How did last night go? My name is Gideon. I'm 33 years old. My name is Marley and I am 19 years old. We've been uh, together for like nine months. I would describe our relationship to be explosive and magnetic. I feel 100% comfortable with him. We're open, we're expressive. We're hoping to become swingers. Get into that lifestyle and find out, I guess, if it's really something for us. Yeah, something that we will enjoy. Having decided to embark on this new phase of their relationship, it was important to Gideon to be open and honest with his family. Mom, I mean, what do you think about everything that we're doing? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I know you can like more than one person, but love, truly love, Yeah. you think so? I guess that's what we're finding out, because I don't really know the answer. I'm excited for you guys, but then again, like I'm scared for you guys, because I feel like one of you guys is gonna end up being hurt by this. It was your idea. Yeah. It was his idea. Yeah, like, I, I he, brought it up. Well, he knows more about like his sexuality than I do know about my own. But when he had told me about it, I was just like, yeah, like I'm open to the yeah, idea. Yeah, but what did you say uh, the first time when he told you about this? I was like, well, if it was like a foursome and not like in separate rooms, and he's like, that's that's what I want. Like, I want it to be like a foursome type um, experience. And I was like, oh, well then, yeah, like I can do that 100%. And that saved our relationship, honestly. And I was like, <laughs> if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Ya sabes, te apoyo en todas tus locuras. Yeah, I know, mom. Well, I appreciate that always. But while at home their family are supportive, the couple have faced judgment when sharing their story on social media. We get people that are like, that is not love, like that is not what you should be doing in a relationship and you guys are not going to last long at all. They are very judgmental. They're very like, what are you doing? Like if you're gonna be sharing your partner, why even be together? Why not just be single? My mom actually, I told her the other day and she was like, I don't want the world to know you for sex and I was like, People already know me for that, Mom, so I can't change that. <laughs> I got into OnlyFans back in December of 2020. I've always wanted to do it, but I got more interested in doing it because he was doing it. We perform things together. We do separate things as well. It just depends on if someone wants that. But most of the time, we do things together. And then the age difference. Once people realize like, oh, he's how old and she's how old? Oh yeah, it's grooming, it's this. But it doesn't bother me because I'm like, you don't know us. Yeah. So I don't really take it that personally. It's just more about that we weren't designed to just be monogamous. And, and it's okay to want and desire to be with more than just one person. The couple's determination to have an open, transparent relationship on their own terms has led to some difficult conversations with Gideon's son, Said. So my son, he's 12 years old, and yeah, I came to him and his mom about us wanting to be in this lifestyle. So I don't think he's necessarily like, yeah, go dad, you know, do your thing, but he's also not like judgmental about it. He gets spoiled with love from everybody, and including Marley. You know, Marley's 19, my son is 12. They're not that big of a gap in age. I know it can be a little unnerving. You know, I could tell like when he first met her, she just, he was like unsure of how to go about that whole thing, but. In terms of the OnlyFans, when he told me, I kept on joking around with him, calling him, saying he's part of the cast of Magic Mike or something, but <laughs> <laughs> I got used to it. I'm glad that he gets to do what he likes to do for a living. That's what I love. Like my whole family is very open. The couple we've been seeing is Damon and Elena. Um, those are the aliases we picked for them though. 
because they go by their own aliases. We've only been on one date with them, but we are going to be seeing them later tonight. But we're not only seeing them, they're actually introducing us to other couples. Other couples it's actually yes. a... A house party, yeah. that's what it's called, yeah. For the lifestyle. It's a possibility that we could be doing a full swap tonight. So how, how did last night go? <laughs> last night went very well by the end of the night. However, it did start off very, I don't know, I was, it was a um, little uncomfortable. Yeah, a little. But we weren't so uncomfortable that we're like, we gotta go. We just knew that like, we just gotta take this in, take it slow. Mm -hmm. So did you couple swap? And if so, <laughs> how was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, no, we didn't. We didn't couple swap at all, but we did just observe everything and, and took it all in. People were like, obviously, in lingerie and making out and touchy feely with each other. It was a lot. It was great though. We enjoyed it. The date with Elena and Damon, I think, was like really nice. We've already decided that that's the first couple that we do want to couple swap with. People may judge us, but this experience has been amazing and I think that it brings us closer together.